Okay, Jenny says, can you explain the basics of SendWire to me and how I could use it with IFTTT? Thanks for all your hard work, guys. Okay, sure. SendWire is a, a tool by Joe Troyer. Um, it does a lot of syndication to a lot of different properties as well, bookmarks, blog, blog sites, a lot of the sites that we use in IFTTT. There's some additional ones in there as well. Um, SendWire is... A bit more manual though, that's part of the reason I don't use it near as much. I have it, I've got like 1400 accounts in there, but I use it probably maybe half a dozen times a year, <laughs> and it's only because we, I, you know, the IFTTT networks are all automated. Um, with SendWire, you have to log in to the dashboard and then create a post and then grab content, um, spin the content out is what they tell you to do. You know, so that you have it creates unique variations of the content on all the different properties that it posts to. Then you have to select the profiles that you want it to post to. Um, and a lot of people love it and they 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 do well with it, and that's fine. I don't recommend using it as a backlinking tool for linking to a money site or a website. You can use it as a second tier link tool to link to first tier links. That's fine. And you can also use it for video embeds or video and syndication. That's fine. But uh, I wouldn't recommend linking directly to the money site because of the spun content. Um, however, again, it, it, it can be really powerful. Um, it can be... Uh, I'm sorry, I got distracted because Hernan's chirping me. Sorry. <laughs> Don't do that, Hernan. <laughs> sorry about um, it. It can be very powerful uh, for... Um, supplemental stuff, like I said, is tier two links. If you want to like power up your IFTTT networks and you have uh, SendWire, that's a good option because you can build links to your tier one where your branded um, network properties. Um, it's also good for, like I said, if you have if you want to do a boost on like a video that if, if you have your IFTTT networks already surrounding your channel, for example, let's say it's for video SEO, and you upload a video or live stream a video and it goes out across your uh, IFTTT networks and it does well but then over time it starts to slip. Well, then you can always do like a, another boosting campaign or whatever with SendWire. That's another good option for it. Um, there's also, it, what's, what's pretty cool is something else that you can do is actually with SendWire, for those of you that do have the tool and you're using it, is you can actually create IFTTT networks around the accounts for your SendWire account. So, for example, if, you're, if you select the blog um, option to post to the blog accounts, there's Tumblrs and Bloggers and WordPresses, and I think LiveJournal is another one of them, you could actually have separate IFTTT networks around each blogger account and each Tumblr account and each... So it would ba basically automate second-tier links, if that makes sense. If you're using SendWire and you're using it as a first tier and you're, you're like, you know, creating the post and sending a post out and you sent, uh, uh, to, uh, f you know, and you're posting to blogs, you could have second-tier networks set up on those blogs to where the, those, those blog accounts are triggering networks and create a whole... Second, like a whole cascading effect. So, I mean, you can get really cool, do do some pretty cool stuff with that. Um, but there's other tools that can do that too. You know, there's FCS Networker. There's another one that's uh, called Turbo Web 2.0. There's a lot of tools that do that kind of stuff now. So, um, can you guys want to add to that at all? Hernan, do you use SendWire? No, uh, not much. I, I used to use um, OnlyWire for a bit, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And Jenny, this is a man's only meeting. You're not allowed in here. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> You're going to get eight mail now. Everybody, it's uh, hfastquez at semanticmastery. <laughs> All the hate mail is in him. Uh, right. Last thing I want to mention about that, however, is um, uh, let's see, Sendwire and how it could use with IFTTT. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it it's the only reason why I like to use I mean not the only reason there's a lot of reasons but um the uh, the reason I just don't use SendWire as much as I probably could uh, is because the IFTTT networks are just automated you know that's all I got to do is once they're set up which you know we have a team of VAs that set them up for us now anyways I really don't have to do anything except send the order details over they get done and then I just upload content to my channel or my website whatever and it just automatically goes out across the networks. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, with SendWire, again, it's, I'm not talking bad about it. A lot of people love the tool. That's great. Uh, and it can be very powerful, but it requires that manual aspect of creating the posts and actually yeah. publishing the posts. So. Yeah. You can still use it for Web 2.0s or something that you don't really care about. Like, um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, Web 2.0s are still working uh, a lot 
for, for backlinking purposes and whatnot. So you can use it like that uh, to syndicate whatever Web 2.0 content you're, you're pumping out. Um, but yeah, FTTT still works the best for branded and stuff that you really care about. Because we have yet still, we have yet to see a website or a, or a, yeah, a website mostly penalized, not on good with the IFTTT uh, syndication series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially if you just stick with the uh, branded as your tier one. Right. And um, and then do every, all your SEO work to your tier one properties instead of direct to your money site. So. Mm -hmm.